everybody and welcome to Freaking Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to make the night vision look. Um, for making this all you're gonna need is only After Effects because it's a really easy um, tutorial to follow and you're not gonna need anything else. So we're going to head into our footage. Um, this is a, a shot from our Route 66 video that we're working on. And I invite you to follow us in the social media in case you you like to more to know more about it because uh, it's a thing that we're putting a lot of effort in it. I'm sure that you can enjoy it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, I don't know if you have ever seen a uh, night vision footage, but when when you put the camera right in front of someone, their eyes get like really shiny. Like for example, when you take a picture of an animal in the night and you use flash, it, it often happens sometimes with humans, but mostly with animals. So that's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing that we want to do is track each eye by with separate. So we're going to create a new null object. We're going to call this eye right. And we're going to track the right eye. So we're going to head into our footage, go to the tracker, and click in track motion. I'm going to use this dot that we have over here. And I'm going to go also to the very last frame of our footage because I close my eyes here. So I'm going to be doing the tracking all of this way and then from here on I will just uh, mask it. So we have our dot here. Alright. We're going to edit target, make sure that it goes to the node that we created. Okay, applied. <clears throat> now we're gonna create another null object. New null object. And we're going to call this I left. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Track motion. Make sure that you are in the last frame. Well, in my specific case. Um, I don't know which from these. Oh, the two of them. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Well, maybe this one because it's actually brighter. And it will do a better tracking. Okay. Edit target, make sure that it goes to the null we created, and OK. All right, so we now have two different nulls <coughs> that are following each eye. And now we're going to create a new solid. Make sure that is uh, this color that is a little bit yellowish, but very, very close to white. So we click OK. We're going to call this. I write um, shine for example disable it by now and we're going to create just a shape that follows our eye something like that more or less doesn't have to be really perfect because uh, we're going to later add a glow effect to our to our wall composition, so that's going to help a little bit with you know the stuff that we can see over here that is imperfect and so. All right, so we're going to fade wrap maybe two. It's alright. And now we're going to link this to our node that we created, so we can see that it follows. And we're going to take the masking tool, disable it by now, and by, uh, make the, take your mask options by pressing M. Uh, we'll put a keyframe there. And we will go some frames back and move it a little bit. Oops. And make sure that it follows the path of the, of the eye. Okay guys, so what I'm doing basically right now is masking both eyes and I'm just keeping this part because I didn't want to get you guys bored. And um, Just pause the video and when you have done your uh, masking, when you're done with it, just continue it. 
Alright guys, so I just finished both maskings and once you have done it, basically what we want to do is to get it solid and put it right when it starts so we can see now both of them we put the video we can see that it looks really nice now so what we're going to do now <coughs> is put uh, the filter to our uh, to our video I'm going to create just a black solid for putting it on the background and, and now you can see how bad the king was and uh, now what we're going to do is put our filter so we're going to make a new adjustment layer um, first thing we want to do is put a tint effect to the wall thing um, make sure that you map black to a very dark green very very dark green and white we want to map it to something like this over there you can put something like that something like this okay if you're not really happy with your result with your result you can always just go into uh, Google and look for images that were actually um, uh, <coughs> made with night visions uh, cameras and a thing that we want to do, we can see that it's really bright, the image, and the the darks are, the dark places are like really dark, and the, and the whites, for example, here in this picture, we can see that it's almost white, although I think this is part of a video game or something like that, I'm not sure. But anyway, we cannot reach this effect only with, um, with our tint effect, so what we're going to do is just... Uh, leave each one to black to black and white to white and we're gonna get a colorama effect put it right there and the output cycle we'll put it to ramp gray and we will create here another color so I'm gonna create a dark green something like that so by doing this what we have done is that Gonna put a little bit brighter of green. That's much maybe. What we have done by doing this basically is uh, that in, we, we created that tint map, but instead of only two colors, we created three. So from black it turns to green, and then inter it turns to white. So we keep the the places uh, the the whites, for example, or the if you have any kind of lights in your footage, you keep you keep them white, as we can see right here. So now we're going to add a glow effect to this. <clears throat> put the radio the radius up, and also the threshold. Put it up also so that it only affect, you know, the brighter areas. We can maybe put two of them, put this very shiny, then add another one. This one put intensity down and the radius up. So we created this kind of a uh, really cool effect. And now we're going to, uh, sorry, here, the add grain effect. And we're going to, well, first of all, actually, no, yeah, we're going to add it. <laughs> we're going to go to final output. And um, this is the best way for creating, creating creating grain because in all the footages, we can see that here it has a little bit of grain. Also, maybe in this, we can see that the image is not perfect. It, it has some grain. So now you can play around. Maybe we can put intensity up to three, then size to three also, softness. Maybe intensity is too much. And you know, just play around with all the values until you reach a uh, effect that you like. I'm going to keep it something like this. It's looking pretty cool right now. 
or if you have uh, some kind of VHS footage, like if you have followed some of my previous tutorials, <clears throat> you can just add them. Like going, well, I have to import it from here. You can just go and import your, your VHS, for example, this one by tracking, import it. And infinite loop it. And just uh, transform it to the fit composition and put it to hard light, for example. Take this uh, add grain effect off. And that will also create a, you know, noise. Well, we have to scale it up a little bit. We can create maybe two of them and move it a little bit so that it creates another. It creates more uh, grain. So we can see that this is looking pretty cool. It's looking really nice. Now the last thing that we will have to do is uh, if you can see in most of the night vision footages, we can see this kind of uh, radial shadow. So we're going to create that. We can see also here a little bit. We're going to create that radial shadow. Actually, before doing so, I'm going just to add this vertical slip because I really like the noise that we can see in this footage. Oops. To part footage main. Because it's a really nice uh, <coughs> VHS footage. So I'm just going to scale it up and put it to hard light also. So we have this really bad looking image. We're going now to add a new solid, make it black. Okay. And we're just going to take the ellipse tool, put it something over there. Actually, I'm going to move it a little bit because the main focus is here in the face. So I'm just going to move it here. We're going to put it on subtract mode. I put the feathering all the way up, also the expansion, something like that looks nice, maybe the expansion is too much, so we can see that now we created a really cool effect, now optionally if you want you can add some vertical lines like here and you can add some uh, huge you know HUD uh, numbers like this one or any other stuff but the main idea was basically this one so I hope that you like this tutorial that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it helpful some way and um, please let me know in the comments below if there's any other kind of tutorial that you would like to know about or if you use this tutorial for some of your projects please feel free to uh, share them in the comments below so that was basically it I hope that you enjoyed and I really hope to see you in the next tutorial so see ya